Hey, welcome to our May 24 update video. Come with me and I'll show you a couple of new cool things you can do with Zebra BI. The first cool thing is that we can have consistent column widths as sometimes certain columns, especially the ones with visualizations, can take up most of the visual space, especially when the other columns contain only numbers. Now, this is not necessarily wrong as the visualization is usually the most important part of the visualization. However, it can draw so much attention to the visualization that all the others simply get lost. Making the column widths the same across all columns can still keep attention on the visualization but also allow us not to lose the important information around it. Also, be sure to like the video if you need to have all of the columns the same width in all of your tables, just like I do. Also, do you like this new template that I'm showing you? It's a template that we made specifically for product portfolio analysis and uh, it's completely free to download from the description below. Moving on, if you're a business that creates forecasts and other plans, you know that many times forecast one just doesn't cut it at the end of the year. And then we need to tweak it a little and well, we call it forecast two. Then that one is not really that good and then we need forecast three. Well, and so on and so on until the end of the year. Things can get complicated fast, especially if you want to show comparison between different forecasts and your actual performance, especially if you're trying to do this in a single visual. Now, we would advise you that in this case, you use field parameters in Power BI to create a specific parameter that holds all of your different forecasts and then use this parameter in the forecast placeholder in our Zebra BI visual. This will then allow you, especially when slicing to a selected forecast like forecast 1, to now show the selection directly on the column headers, keeping your visuals cleaner, clearer and easier to understand. These were the two main improvements in our Zebra BI visuals for May. However, there have been a few smaller new improvements helping the usability of our visuals, like navigating long tables with many categories, and improving common behaviors. Thank you for watching. I hope that you love all the cool new things that you can do with Zebra BI. You can also read more about all the changes in our change log that's linked in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and keep up with all of the new cool updates that we have to offer.